Hey, Dr. Calarco, how does a hair drug test work? Drugs can get into the hair. So let's talk about scalp hair, although it applies to any, any body hair as well. So it can get into the hair uh, several ways. One, it can be from sweat. It can be from the sebum, which is the wax you know, on your skin that, you're, that is produced. And then also, if someone in, uses a drug, jet, gets it internally, the blood flow to the hair follicle, the drug will diffuse up into the hair follicle. And what it'll do is, so let's say somebody uses a drug, however they take it, it gets inside, it gets in the bloodstream. It'll find its way to the hair follicle and it'll make a little drug band. Every time you use the drug, it'll make a little drug band. As the hair grows, and hair grows about a centimeter a month, so like maybe less than half an inch, okay? So what happens is it'll, as it grows outward, these drug bands will move forward as well. And then when people do hair uh, drug testing, they'll take about, they'll go with scalp hair, hair preferentially if you have scalp hair. And what they do is they cut about, you know, one and a half inches, and then they'll look in the lab for these drug bands. That's how we, we use to detect it. Be sure to follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you're struggling and need help, contact us in our profile today.